songs of praises. When I tread, songs of praises I will give to thee. It might seem like a silly statement, simply because when we look at Scripture and think of all the things God has done for us, even without our asking, yes, even when we could not ask, to whom else would we give songs of praise? These songs are surely the hymns we sing in church or in our homes or our cars or even simply in our heads. Sometimes they just kind of break out of us without our really thinking about it. We are going along and then realize we are singing some hymn or whistling a tune or humming it. Far better such than what passes for music today and yes, even what passed for music in my youth. For these hymns turn our minds to spiritual things, to Him who has given and continues to give to us freely without cost all things. Yes, all things. But do not let your songs of praise be limited to such. Oh, that we would let our entire life, our manner of life, be one long, daily, and continuous song of praise to our gracious Lord and Savior. Walk in the Spirit. Follow the voice of the Good Shepherd. And this just as freely and willingly as when we suddenly find ourselves singing a hymn, this because of all we have considered in the words of this hymn. The source and wellspring of this our hymn of praise is that forgiveness of sins in Christ Jesus, who did not have to redeem us, did not have to save us, could just as easily left us dead in our sins, but came and saved us anyway, gave us faith anyway, gave us life anyway, gave us the victory anyway. What great joy! Even as the angel said to those trembling shepherds, Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy. For born to you in the city of David, the Savior, who is Christ the Lord. What great joy! It is finished. What great joy! He is risen. What great joy! I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. What songs of praises flow from us in all we do to him our triune God. Amen.